Hi everybody, my name is LMNP and welcome back to A Song of Horror. This is chapter 4, part 3. So if you have not seen the previous videos, please check those out first before continuing, as this will contain spoilers for the remainder of the game. So where we left off, as Daniel is still trying to get out of the abbey, but first we must find Husher. Husher is somewhere on the second floor. So let's see if we can get Husher and Daniel out this time. Uh, no. Uh, no. No. It's gonna be no. You guys saw it, right? Oh. Yeah, I guess I could use this to pry the hatch open, but it would close the minute I release the spade. I need to secure it somehow. Secure it. Can we combine this and this? I have no idea how to do that. Never mind. Okay. Well, that was an idea. Please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. That's all I ask. It almost feels hot in here. Usha must have been here. Hmm. Hey! Hmm? They're old, but I think they should work. I can stoke any fire with this beauty. That's what we need for that fire. Alright, I have this. I could start the fire with the bellows, but right now it wouldn't help much. Oh, if I want to burn something, I have to put it in there first. Oh, well, crap. Alright, so i got to find something to burn. I don't have anything to burn. So, never mind. At least we know where to go with it when we need it. Alright, let's go upstairs. I'm very curious to see what we're going to find upstairs. Husher is apparently upstairs. At least that's where we saw him in the, like, window. Up the stairs we go! Please nothing eat me on the way up here. I see one of the cloisters from here. It hasn't stopped snowing. Silver. We have silver. Don't need the key anymore. Cool. We're progressing! I was really expecting to see something like there. Treasurer's suicide note. Last words of Brother Victoriano, treasurer of the Sicilia's Abbey. Nothing in the Holy Scripture can describe that place. I see it every night, and every night it's different and unrepeatably perverse. That impossible color, the horrible eclipsed gleam up in the skies. My mind is broken. Not even the devil would be capable of such deviousness, for he would howl in terror if he saw what I've seen pure horror. Death and eternal oblivion sound like sweet salvation compared to this. If upon taking my own life, I awake tortured in a sea of flames, I will shed tears of relief. Oh, God. The image of a saint next to a cross that might be made of silver. They spared no expense when it came to decorating this place. Old medicine, I'm afraid to think of what I'd be inhaling if I opened one of those jars. What's that? Loose parts. How can I put all these pieces together? One of three. What's 
this. That's disgusting. They must have used this bucket as a toilet. It's kind of gross. More bodies? It's all so unfathomable. Everything that happened here. Hi! Looks like an improvised place of prayer. Hi! What are y'all you, you doing? You are typically a very bad sign. A workbench? I could assemble some kind of tool gear. <laughs> to think they used to operate on people with this. He might have even died in that chair. I'm missing parts. Alright there. Y'all y'all are okay. Y'all are okay. Why are there crows in here? Fun fact, I'm actually terrified of birds. I don't know, especially like ravens and crows. They're just creepy. Jars containing all sorts of herbs and powders. Loose parts. Mm. It must have been a chemist. At least they had the decency to cover his body. Okay. We're okay. Just get out of this room. can hide if things get dangerous. All right, we got a hiding spot. The lever appears connected to a plumbing system. All right, we've got the ooh, We've got the parts. All right, so let's go and combine the parts real fast before we go through that door. Jars with old ointments and a mortar for making them. This room must have been a lab of sorts. This little burner is on. It must have been Husher, but what's he going to do with it? What are, what are we burning? Different utensils surely used for making different medicines. There's two places that we've been to that talk about burning something, but I have not in our entire playthrough gotten something to burn. Not in this chapter at least. All right, let's go put the parts together. And be very quiet. Because <laughs> if I kill him off, our chapter's done. The birds are gone. Why are the birds gone? Did I just make a rib cage opener? Yeah, I did. I made a rib cage holder. Mm -mm. 
I'm not gonna have to look in somebody's body, am I? Also, I have this. So I guess we don't need it yet. Is there anything else I can look at and see what I can use it for? Uh -uh. Jars of the sort of plants, I wonder if they could come in handy somehow. Okay. If I knew what I was trying to make. I don't know what I'm trying to make. This is where that uh, zombie came and got me last time. Doesn't like lighting candles to a saint was the answer to their woes. I wish things could have been different. Mm -hmm. Black marks that look like hands. Shit, I hope Husher's safe. So that's locked. All right, let's try the hatch. Because I don't think I have anything I need to burn right now. And I am absolutely lost. Husher must be right there on the other side of this wall. If only I could crawl through the hole. Well, you could try. Let's see. Puzzle and something to burn. Alright, so we got a puzzle and something to burn. Like, we need something to burn up here. There's got to be something in that hatch. Now that I have the rib cage openers, maybe I can hold it up with that. Maybe that's where all my answers lie. Not again. Gotcha. Ooh, I don't like this. Well, Daniel died, so now we have to start the chapter over. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, it looks like we'll be restarting this in a very quick format for the next one. So if this is the kind of content you enjoy, please press that like button, ring that bell, and subscribe. That way you get notifications when the next part comes out. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!